driving towards um, driving towards um, Houses of Parliament at speed. Uh, he's going pretty fast, in my opinion. That you know, I think it's a 20 miles to 30 miles per hour zone. He was going at maybe um, 40 to 50 miles per hour, maybe more. Um, and he's driven into um, the bollard right outside of uh, uh, Houses of Parliament. Um, there's police there, obviously. They, that's where you know police, police are guarding um, Parliament. But he's driven into it, and in my opinion, it was deliberate. It, it wasn't. A, it, there was no other. He didn't swerve into it. It, it, it was. It was a, a direct hit. They clearly have guns. This is a an area right outside the public entrance to the House of Commons. The barriers that you can see there were erected after the terrorist event last year, which, in which you will remember uh, um, a police officer was killed. Now, there is absolutely, let me make it clear at this point, there are lots of people on holiday coming down to London. There is absolutely no indication at this point that this is anything to do with terrorism. But, of course, this is an incredibly sensitive part. <laughs> fear this was yet another attack in the heart of London and the police response was quick and heavy. <laughs> police vehicles screamed towards the Houses of Parliament. Officers with guns drawn then move in and drag the driver from his crushed vehicle. Police then scanned the car to make sure there was nothing else sinister inside. Moments earlier, the car had mounted the pavement and slammed into a security barrier. A number of pedestrians were struck and the area was immediately placed in lockdown. And as paramedics scrambled to help the injured, these were scenes London had witnessed before. In March last year, a terrorist used his car as a weapon running down and killing five people on the Westminster Bridge before stabbing to death a police officer. The barriers which today stopped the vehicle were installed because of what happened last year. And with the area sealed off, Westminster Tube Station has now been closed. Damien Ryan, Nine News. All right, let's go live to Nine's Amelia Adams. Amelia, what's happening as we join you in London? Well, Pete, very, very tense scenes here. We've just had dozens of police officers uh, screaming at people, yelling to get back, get out of this area as they put up their cordons. You can see dozens of police vehicles, also ambulance, fire engine. There's a helicopter hovering above. The tube station near where we are has been shut down and people uh, in their morning peak just stopping to try and find out what has gone on here. Witnesses have described smoke coming from that car after it collided with the security bat a barrier and there are unconfirmed reports a device may have been inside. Now, we do know that several pedestrians were injured. Authorities are saying none of those they believe have life-threatening injuries, uh, but certainly very, very scary scenes here with the heart of London uh, in lockdown and this counter-terrorism operation underway, Peter. All right, Amelia. Thank